got a full on rig. It is. He's got the mod. He's got the mod. They call that it, don't they? I think. Alright, so we got the two interns in the back. I think I watched that first video. They didn't, you guys didn't introduce them very well. I didn't introduce Curl, alright. Well, these are going to be the two interns for the year. We got Curl Van Dam and then Ben from Michigan. Oh. Curl Van Dam? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Well, was, his name's, what's it? His name, actual name's Roy, but we're going to call him Curl for obvious reasons. And he drives up, he lives out of his van. And damn. Girl Van Dam. It's a pretty good nickname. So you think that was a better in introduction than mine? Well, I, you guys did introductions, but you, we never really do a very good job of saying, all right, the, these two brand new guys are going to be the interns for this next three, four months on the channel. So that's what I'm trying to get out there. I see. Okay. And Ben didn't get a shout out on the channel for the Hunt Trap Fish channel either. Just so Hunt Michigan. Fish Trap. Yeah, just Ben for Trap Michigan. Michigan. That's this guy. Go subscribe to Ben's channel. If you haven't already. Man curls. Man curls. Man curls. Yeah. Check it out, guys. We're gonna go. Sat on a cell camera today, I think. And maybe uh, try to film some velvet bucks. Talk to you a little bit about how we use these cell cameras. Here's some video right the bucks. Nice one. Hurry up to the nice later on. Get on that one that's running to the right. There's two biggest ones around the right there. That one on the right that's running away. It's got a real tall rack on it. They'll have that. You guys get anything of that, you think? Yeah. Kind of some dandies, huh? Some good bucks there. Sponsored. They're out pretty early this afternoon. Private. I love that. Yes, they do. Might switch to 4K. Oh, there they go. Be on them steady, boy. All kinds of tracks down here. Lots of green turkey in the fresh mud. Bug. Fresh turkey. We got a lot of rain. Last night we got, I don't know, there's like four, we had a tote sitting outside. There's like four inches of rain sitting in it. And this road is usually. Without that rain, it's usually pretty tough to get down. So you gotta walk about 900 yards, and then there's a couple deep corners on this public that are really hard to access. You gotta walk up and down a couple ridges, and there's some nice deep holes in some of the deeper stuff around here. So we're gonna go out, put this cell camera out today. There's some big tracks. I was gonna say, real big tracks. At this field up here. That's a tank. Alfalfa. Alfalfa. We'll see some deer right away here, but we'll walk by him and get this camera out. We'll talk a little bit more about how we use these things when we get back there, though. If we don't get interrupted here. Yeah. Cute little track there. The boys are already out. Like four bucks way over there. We can get to the hillside. Yeah, we can get pretty close to him over there. I was going to spook him beforehand. A couple decent ones, it looks like. How many about two? Usually there's a bunch more deer around this corner. This is private, but a lot of times they cross this road coming out of the public too. This is a spot that we don't hunt very much. And there's probably no good reason that we don't. It's just we got so many other places that we haven't hit. At least me and Ted haven't. We haven't lived here near as long as the other guys. Like Greg's hunted here a fair amount and he's had some pretty good hunts, but we don't hunt here very much. It's just a big, pretty thick, all timber and ridges. We'll get up here, put this camera on, then we'll probably try to sneak up the road and get a better look at what's in this back corner here. Usually that's where the bigger ones come out. I came in here by myself, I think a couple years ago, scouting during the winter. I just walked all these ridges. Mm -hmm. These back three are all good. I was thinking we might just put it on that furthest back one that's right by the field. I mean, there's not really any good way to get in there and check a camera or anything like that unless you spook all the deer along the way. So I figured that'd be a good spot to put it just right up top before they go into that field up there. Up on that ridge? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're bedding right along that ridge and then the other two next to it. So and there's a bunch of big scrapes and stuff leading out into that field on the private. So I think we'll just also back there and put it up and try to come film some bucks up here. You gonna leave it all here? I don't know. I think they're probably turning on now. 
can have it on like there's you can have the settings where it sends it to you every day or every couple of days and the bat it won't drain much battery mm -hmm. and then if there's nothing by october 1st we might just go back grab in there it. and grab it and move it somewhere else i guess on this and just hang it right there. Yeah, this looks good. You like that? <laughs> There's a bunch of beds down off this ridge and it just leads right up to this field. We've had a lot less of these stolen than your traditional trail cameras. I think we've only had one stolen in the last two years. We've only had a couple up, but compared to traditional cameras, I'd say one out of two of those seems to get stolen or one out of three of them, it seems like. So. Yeah. I mean, it's just a lot a of times the Python locks don't work anyway. I know. <laughs> Somebody wants it bad enough. Mm -hmm. And these are, I imagine people are just more scared to steal a cell camera. You can get their picture taken. You, know, you can buy a cheap tracking device off Amazon and put it in there and turn that on for a couple months too and like yeah. track down whoever stole it. So. Seems like even around here where service isn't great, as long as you're up on top of these ridges, we haven't had any problems. I think that you can run them on Verizon and Verizon seems to work pretty good around here. All right, we just hung this cell camera right here. We're on this ridge that Jake scouted a few years ago and it leads right up to this bean field, but cell cameras are something that we've started using the past couple of years. Yeah, I think and two years ago we started using them. We don't use them a ton, pretty much just in Iowa here. And like everybody probably has a different opinion about it, about like how ethical they are and whatnot. And that we're not here to debate that. I mean, we're you can drop your opinion down below on uh, what you think about them. I know they're not legal in some states even, but there's pretty much two main ways that we've used them. And uh, I guess the first one being what we're doing today is just like super remote spots that we don't plan on going back to. Just there's, right. there's no good way to get in here to check a camera unless you're just going to spook all the deer along the way. So we'll kind of just wait until that thing tells us when to come back in here to hunt. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not a spot that we're gonna go back into, you know, the day before we're gonna hunt it. We're not gonna hike all the way back in here. We just, with this up, if there's a buck or something coming through and we're getting pictures on our phone, then we know, all right, we need to get and in there to hunt. We, we understand that we have way more time to hunt than your average person. So if you're a guy that, I mean, you don't get much time to hunt, but you have a pretty flexible schedule at work, these are a great tool to use because, mm -hmm. I mean, you get a picture of a buck and then i mean you know you should probably be hunting or they can be probably can be pretty torturous in that situation yeah <laughs> you're you sitting can't. at work hitting a bunch yeah. of pictures of big bucks if you can't get off work yeah i guess the main way we've used them is after zach hit that buck in what was that 2019 yep he hit that buck with the bow in november and we figured the best way to know if like we were, we were hoping that deer was still alive and the best way to know that and like be able to capitalize on it because we didn't want to get a picture of him like all skinny like he's suffering right. and like slowly dying basically so we put it i think we put a couple cell cameras up there and we didn't get any pictures of him until what was it probably two months later we can drop on the screen mm -hmm. when the date was but i think we were down in georgia we were alabama in no we were with uh mississippi mississippi yeah, yeah we, we were, were coming out with uh lee yeah and, and me you and got a picture on your me phone and you were pig hunting and we we're just sitting there up against the tree we had a pretty slow morning and i was just looking at the pictures because we had that camera up here yet and i'm like no way dude that's the buck that's that kid he's still alive and yeah. he looked pretty healthy mm -hmm. looked real healthy yeah so and that was late muzzleloader season greg was still up here so i texted him i'm like hey you might want to get out here because there was that buck and there's a couple other nice bucks that came out that mm -hmm. same night and it was right in the same area that's obviously why we hung it there that uh zach had hit it was probably only a couple hundred yards away we just put it on like a pretty major travel area so so if that deer was moving through there we figured he'd go right by that camera and he might have been there the whole time but two months later we got another picture of him right in that same spot i think it was the next night greg went yeah. in there and killed him yeah. we did the same thing last year and i hit that buck we put a couple cell cameras up there in hopes to hopefully get pictures of him and we never, we never ended think, up no. seeing him no we never ended up seeing him but i think that's probably the best way in my opinion to use them if you hit a buck and you just yeah, that's a way that folks probably haven't thought about using them. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's a great way. You want to go out there and look for your deer as much as you can, but once it gets to a certain point, you yeah. know, if you checked all your, covered all your bases, then mm -hmm. throw one of those up and you're still kind of pursuing him mm -hmm. in that fashion. Yeah, well, then that was the thing is like the one that Zach hit that Greg ended up shooting, he was perfectly healthy, but I mean, and you, I could see the same situation being you get a picture of that deer walking by the camera and he's just super skinny and he's right. not doing well, especially going into winter. It was two months later. I think it was December when Greg 
uh, finally went in there and shot him. But like, but either way, you get a bead on him. Yeah, you get to know real time that he's alive, and yeah. I mean, Greg capitalized on it. It was pretty sweet. So another way that you can use the cell cams is I know Dan and Joe do this a lot. They put them like right on the outside of a bedding area. Mm -hmm like probably where they're going to be hunting or mm -hmm. like real close to where they set up if they yeah. get a picture and a lot of times that's what they do they get a picture of a buck going into a bedding area or like a certain bed that they're wanting so to hunt they know he's there yeah and then they can slip in that night or you know the next morning and try and kill him going in or coming out of that bedding area mm -hmm. that's a real effective way to use them but these exodus ones i mean they've been i haven't had a problem with them yet they're pretty sweet to use if you use lithium batteries this camera will probably last all the way through Iowa season going into December. Yeah. The battery's been super good on them. And the nice thing about it is you can control all the settings from your phone on their app. So like this camera right now, it's not in season. I could have this camera so it's not sending real time pictures. So every time it takes a picture, it doesn't use the data to send it. I can just have it on a schedule where it sends pictures every 12 hours or every 24 hours. And that saves the battery a ton. Yeah. There's just a bunch of different settings that you can mess with to save batteries. You can have it taking one picture, three pictures, that's, but that's gonna depend on how much data and battery it's using. And the nice thing is like, we only turn them on from October to December and then we don't, we turn the data plan off the rest of the year. So you're only paying for it for right. a couple months. We don't really use them other than during the fall. But the coolest thing about that app is like, if say this limb is blowing around a bunch in the wind and I'm getting a bunch of wind pictures, like I can adjust the sensitivity on the oh, you can adjust camera. The so like if it's on, if it's on medium, I can put it on low that way when it don't, only when a deer is coming by, it's taking a picture, yeah. it's not taking a picture of this. That makes sense. So like if I went home and I didn't realize that was gonna be a problem, I could still change it. And like, that's been pretty sweet yeah. for, especially for saving battery and not getting notifications all the time from sure trees blowing around it's just they got they got it figured out it's pretty sweet I mean, it's pretty fun like you said if you're a guy sitting at work it could be torturous but it's also fun to just yeah, like definitely see what's going on out there i guess but and the nice thing about exodus is that it's kind of like a public land friendly deal they got going on so like if your camera gets stolen i think you can get another camera for 50 percent of the price no questions asked which is i mean yeah something we deal with all the that. time i mean you might pay a little more for the camera but I mean, the video that these things you can get on these things is like su super good. We use it in our videos all the time. I know Jeff Sturr just like half yeah. of his cutaways for his videos are just from Exodus yeah. show cameras. So it's a nice quality camera. And if they get stolen out in public land, I mean, you get it for 50% off. At least you're, I don't know if you're saving money, but you get a little bit of a deal on the next one, I guess. But mm -hmm. another thing you can do, I think, to save the battery is you can adjust like the resolution of the image that it's sending to your phone. So if sends a little lower resolution. Yeah, and but then when you go out to the camera and grab the SD card out of it, it's you can cool. put it on your computer and like actually a nice crisp picture. So those are just a couple of the I guess the tips that we have for using them and a couple of ways that we use them. Like I said, is the app very user friendly? I'd say it is. Phone? Yeah, I mean, I figured it out pretty easily. I don't, I wouldn't say I'm super tech savvy and like it's just I mean it's basically like the settings on the camera, but I'd say it's easier to use in the camera because it's all right on your phone. You can just like to adjust the megapixels it's just like you can it's just a drop down bar you click on the tab from 8 megapixels to 12 or whatever you can just select whatever you want so we can show it on the screen just how easy it is to go through there and change some of those settings but i think that's going to be it for the we better get back out to, yeah, to them before bucks. it gets too dark there's probably some bigger ones out uh -huh. there now. maybe get out there try to film them and maybe even get back to the car and cruise around and see some more probably have those bucks that are out in the field on it maybe rake this ground up a little bit if anybody's got a pee they can pee in her do that. Green. The car in the background. Mm-hmm. I didn't drink this, by the way. Looks like somebody shotgunned it. Don't it's lie to him. I wish I would have. <sighs> nah, he didn't drink it. Picking up litter. Ready, ready, ready. Can you guys get that? Little bit, he says. She stood there long enough. I would hope they're on him. If not, we got some work to do. Guys, you get that, dude. Yeah. Communication's gonna be yeah, pretty key here as far as uh, us getting any good video here for the next couple months. You guys might as well start taking it serious. <laughs> oh, ready, ready, ready. Are you on him? <laughs> Missed him. Ted's Missed the only one that got him with the nine. Nice shot, dude. Well, he's kind of a content machine. Yeah, At this point, he's kind of an old vet. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I got it.
Take a hundred. Well, over here, so I, I doubt you get it. <laughs> I never. I regret 100% what I just said. We gotta be quiet. Jake said so. Ted. Mm. 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 And stick. Mm. Take one of these waters. They haven't been in there since before turkey season, but not good. In the Bell Vita, it's a no brainer. Don't push it. Don't push it. Remember when uh, Ted got some footage of that buck with the GoPro and neither of you took it on it? <laughs> we'll three of you that. Roy. Don't act like you didn't hear me. Dude, I admit it. Like, we were making fun of you and you were right. Hey. You were 100% right. I'm just an intern. You're right. so much more than that to me. I think you guys are going to get another chance here where I think we'll see another buck tonight. <laughs> 1 to 15, I'd say. Ooh, look at them all Here's up there. Deer out there, mate. Alright, you ready? Alright. I'd film that one on the right. If I was you. Oh, look at them. Oh, get on the ones in the back there. So, ben, you film these close ones. Bro, you film the back ones. Dang, boy. This front one's pretty nice. There you go. You're gone. And that's a shot. That's a heck of a shot there. That's beautiful stuff. There you go. Ooh, right right nice buck. That is a Ooh, little bit better buck. Get That's him. a better buck there. All right, you're gonna get a shot at him here going across this field. Uh, get ready to nail it. All right. Ooh, he's coming back. He's right here. The there day. he is. There he is. There he is. Get on him, boys. There he is. Stay on him steady. Steady as he can. That's a good one. Oh, he's stopping for you even. Roy, really, actually, there's a nice one there, standing there too in the opening. Get on that one there. To the right. He's in the between them trees there. Where that hay bale is, he's straight below that to the right. A little to the left, I think, Roy. Really. Yeah, you ever heard of Coulter Ball before? No, let's hear him one. Film the sickest velvet footage I ever filmed was right. Just going over this hill here, there's like yeah, four, I bet. four bucks, Ted. The sickest. Back I in bet. circa 2017, I think. Right over this hill here. I've never seen dun, it. Dun, dun. Yeah, because I was on the Midwest White Tail. I've never seen it. Right there, they were going over that hill. Beautiful. Oh, I was like a buck in the road there. Oh, yeah. Decent luck. Get him going through the fog Decent here. Get him going through the fog. That's a good shot there. That's sweet. That's really cool. If you guys... Yeah, that's sweet. Huh. If that's the sort of thing you're into. Buck's going through the fog into the sunset. That's a pretty cool shot. That's pretty cool. Got it. You got it, huh, Ben? Got it. You feel pretty good about it? That might have been my top. Oh, all time. It. it might have been all time. Congratulations. You, you and Jake have your top one right now. Hey, we share the same field, buddy. I think that one oh, on the right. Look at the drop dart. Look at that. Look at the beam on that thing. That one on the right is big unit, dude. What the heck? Here. Yeah, yeah, it's got a hairy leg. Oh, the flag's all scooped up. Can you get that up? That's, that's freaking crazy. Got that phone? Yep. Got it right here. Hang on. Wait, it's gonna go. Gone. Yeah, they're gone. All right, I'm gonna get her sighted in. That was, good. That was cool. That was cool. His one meme just drops straight down like it's from way off. He wasn't yeah. walking on it. Oh, really? Yeah. So I just yeah, that's why I goofed out. Yeah. That was freaking cool. I've never seen one like that. <laughs> wow, this is the music that feels like. kind of drummed that one up for us. Yeah, he did. Light. Walter said, oh, there's another bug. He said, hey, you guys want a big nasty? 
There he is. Coulter says to us, he says. That's sweet. Oh, yeah, he is limping real bad. We'll try that again. It's kind of like our pineapple princess. That's a sweet one. Film the left one, so maybe film the right one. They, can they can't see the right one right now. Right one's bigger. Get on the left one. Keep going. All right, there you can see the right one. You just get video with your phone, Tether. <laughs> There's some nice ones. There it is. Jeez, that's tied up. <laughs> can you zoom it out? Yeah, yeah. That would have been easier to find. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Perfect. Perfect timing. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful. He's gorgeous. He's wide. He's tall. Good mass. Alright, hit her to the left a little. Her bad be still. That's about to get on this thing strong. Thank you.